Hey guys, what's going on? B McG here, and today we have a showcase on my rank 5 Cassie Lang, and she is kind of a beast. She's she's pretty damn good. So we're gonna start the video off in Realm of Legends against Winter Soldier, the, the basically the punching bag of the uh, contest. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I like to play her. I like to push them to their special two when they're in the corner, and then bait it, and then you know charge my heavy attack to get those power stings and then cancel my heavy with my special one. That way I get the taunt active and I can start baiting specials getting into that, into that loop. And then anytime I have pin particles, I just wanna dump them with a fourth light attack and that will let me place a poison debuff, which extends the duration of all my existing debuffs. So yeah, it, it, it really helps playing her. Uh, what I should have done here, you guys are gonna see pretty quickly. Um, I go in here and I bait another special one what I should have done here is four hit combo, charge my heavy like I did here, but after the first two hits land, I should use my striker and then go into my special two. And that would have given me guaranteed crits on the special two. But we'll get the special two going after this next cycle here because we've got 33 power stings. It's really not that big of a deal to get a little bit more. It would just give us like 6,000 more damage per power sting. Um, or per time he like launches a special attack, but right there, that was I think 125,000 special two, which is really solid. And now we just uh, you know use our full heavy attack here. We have the max power stings, and he's pretty much done. Uh, the beauty about Cassie Lang is that once you have her ramped up, she's pretty much ramped up, which is just awesome in my opinion. Next up, we're gonna go against Venom the Duck in 6.4.1. And this is just going to be more of a Battlegrounds showcase kind of style health pool thing. Um, I normally like to try to just get Battlegrounds matches in here because sometimes the fights here in 6.4.1, they just don't feel as, um, how do you say it? Um, they're not as great for showcasing champs like in Battlegrounds scenarios because it's, you know, it's not the closest thing to Battlegrounds. The health pool's close, but just the AI isn't the same and yeah. So we're just going into our loop now. We have 12 power stings, we have the taunt active, and we keep trying to pause that taunt debuff. Right there we go in for a heavy attack, drop the special one. Now I've got 22 power stings. We're gonna do the light ending combo here to pause into a striker. And the goal here is to try to get to the special two. So normally what I like to do with Cassie Lang is try to do like one or two special two, or one or two special ones into a special two and you know then you're pretty much sorted so some reasons why i wanted to rank cassie lang i needed a strong buff immune champion for war my other most used buff immune champion was ant-man mainly because he was a good synergy partner with future ant-man but he's just not as versatile as cassie in my opinion i also had a large hole in my roster which was mainly power sting but i also didn't really have a great power or buff immune champion at rank five or higher so that's where she kind of fit the bill. She she knocked off both those two things in one rank up, which was really cool to me. Um, there are no champs currently immune to power sting. Not sure if there ever will be, um, but you, you never know. And right now there, there's no one immune to it. So she's got an insanely versatile form of damage. Uh, power sting is direct damage and it's, it's just great. Her taunt is insanely strong and I think it still will be after the rebalance. This video is made prior to her rebalancing. Um, I'm not sure if any of the footage has dropped from her beta yet, or if any like details have dropped from her beta. All I remember is that there was a forum post saying that they wanted to keep her tanky. So she's gonna have her taunt reduced to 50% attack reduction, but with inequity, you should be able to hit like 87% attack reduction which is really, really solid in my opinion. And that will add to her versatility for me because the attack reduction makes her very uh, usable for hazard shift. Um, anything like uh, hazard shift, uh, incinerate shock, uh, bleed and shock, incinerate and poison, she can work for all those because she'll just reduce the attack rating of the opponent and that allows her to basically heal from those debuffs solely due to the taunt. You just want to spam special ones when playing her against those nodes. Another reason is that at max sig, she's surprisingly a really solid dual threat champion for battlegrounds. She can evade, I think she's got like a 14% chance to evade a max sig. It's either 9 or 14%. 
Her special one places some debuffs on the opponent that will deal damage if they don't increase their combo by a certain amount. She has enough defensive utility that pairs well with inequity that will allow her to stall out fights and require a counter essentially, which really helped my decision even more. And then lastly, she's an Ant Family Champion, which, I mean, if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know I love future Ant-Man, but I also really enjoy like classic Ant-Man. I enjoy Wasp and Cassie synergizes with them pretty well. So those are just a few reasons why I decided to rank her up. So next up we have two Battlegrounds matches. The first one is against Bishop. If you guys pay attention to the matchups here, it's obvious that my opponent has a better match. I just wanted to test this out. It was the only thing I thought I had that would work. This is in the victory track. This was earlier this season. So it's, I think it was like three weeks ago when I got this footage, almost three weeks ago. The Unstoppable really screws with her rotation. I haven't really liked her for the Unstoppable metas, but um, what you can do here, I dumped some power to taunt him. That way he will be able to throw a special two when I want him to. He drops it, I do a light attack, and then I was able to get my heavy attack in there, and that allowed me to uh, you know, place these power stings on him. But now we are starting to try to melt him. But keep in mind, with, ta uh, with Cassie's taunt currently, she reduces the opponent's attack by, I think, 90% plus inequity. So you guys can see that these incinerates that Bishop is placing on us, they're not really doing all too much. And, you know, we take a little combo here and we barely lose any health because of how potent her attack reduction is. And it's going to be similar to that after her rebalance, I think. At least I hope it would be. It'd be kind of ridiculous to change it, but... Yeah, there we go. We finished that fight in 69 seconds at 93% health, which is really solid. And, you know, Valkyrie is just a really good skill nuke. And, you know, there's not much you can do to beat that time. She's just really good. Next up, we have a stream clip. This is against uh, Absorbent Man in the Sharpened Claws Gladiator Circuit meta. It's the one where they've got the, like, personal space regen or whatever. And then they go unblockable if they gain too many regen buffs or regen effects. And then... If they hit your block, they will inflict five bleeds. This is one of my favorite matches for Cassie. It's it's just so good. Um, Absorbing Man reduces physical damage when he's in Uru form, and then he reduces energy damage when he's in Magma form. Well, Power Sting is direct damage, so have fun reducing that Absorbing Man. So right here, I get a little greedy. I try to go for some you know heavy charge action, and we end up running out of fuel. We eat eight hits. And we only lose, what, 5% health? And then he gives us enough power to just drop the special two with the guaranteed crits, and he's done. So, really solid fight here from Cassie. I was really impressed with it. 52 seconds, and, you know, we finish at like 95 and a half health, or 95 and a half percent health. So, pretty solid stuff, in my opinion. Next up, we're in some story content with Backfire, Hubris, uh, Clapback, and Combat Deja Vu Unblockable. So the whole node combo here, when you do a well-timed block with a Science Champion, they place a Power Sting. And then, um, I think it's the Backfire node, it's any damage that happens during the opponent's special attack is amplified by a certain amount at the end of the special attack. So you guys will see pretty quickly the damage just completely starts ramping up. And after the special animation's over, the champ's just gonna take an insane amount of damage. So we dealt 21,000 you know, power sting damage there, and then the end, I think it's four times the amount of damage, which is just really solid. And you know now we have like 22 power stings on him, so he's pretty much done for. And I'm just gonna go in here for one more special one, get that last taunt on him. And he drops that special two, and he's gonna fall over right here. 132,000 damage. A lot of damage there. Next up, we have Hyperion on these same nodes. So, the whole goal here against Hyperion, since he's poison immune, is that you wanna spam special ones as much as you can and keep that taunt active. And that should allow you to keep him throwing specials and keep your power stings active. The only thing that sucks about, uh, or for Cassie against uh, power or poison immune champions is that her power stings will only last 10 seconds. There's no way to increase their duration. So that's the only thing that sucks here. 
You also can have your Ant-Man Relic uh, increase the duration of Power Stings, which can help a lot. But, yeah, it's 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 tight playing her against Poison Immunes, but, um, you know, this is just the way you gotta do it. But he ultimately falls over there, 69,000 burst damage at the end of his special attack. Really solid stuff. Next up against Dragon Man, we have another Poison Immune. This is the same nodes as the previous two fights. He's got an awesome special, the heavy attack, you know, charge thing into, because we got 13 power stings there. Um, I can't remember what her heavy attack mechanic is called. I mean, it's just charging heavy. But it's it's a great way to just try to get some uh, power stings on him. He's got the power charge, which will allow him to spam his specials more. It's just we don't want to have that power sting place the ineptitude on us because that would make sure, or that would make him lose the power uh, charge. But right there, we parry for some reason. I think it's just so we can get some willpower healing. And he's pretty much done here after we eat the special one. Yeah, he falls over. So, pretty solid stuff here on this lane. It doesn't really, it's not really a power sting lane. I mean, you can gain po power stings. Like, it, it, they want you to use power stings, but someone like I Bomb with Acid Burn would work perfect for it. Um, next up, we have another story quest Prowess Surge, 1 2 Punch, Prowess Puncture, a Rudite Ruse, and Rise to Power. So, the, the whole like thing you want to do here against this node is reduce the like the mystic chain or the, the opponent's power uh power rate i don't know why i struggle to say that um you want to reduce their power rate but with cassie these furies that you are getting is going to amplify your power sting damage so these petrified passes that get placed don't really do a whole ton but you will be gaining a ton of attack from these passive furies which will allow you to just do insane damage with these power stings. Right there, I made a mistake, ran out of fuel on my heavy charge. Um, that's one thing I will always try to do to you guys, is show you guys my mistakes. I don't like doing like numerous takes on videos. If something doesn't work and I want to show it in a video, you guys are going to see it not working. Or like I'm not going to... You, I'm not gonna do like 69 attempts of a video just so you guys can see like a special two crit when a ch when a champ just doesn't have crits on a special two. Like Gambit, for example, back in the day, I really tried to be very careful about showing special two stuff because you know he he really relies on that special two crit. So essentially, I'm what I'm trying to say is like I I don't redo takes for videos just so I can get like the perfect try in there. Like I just want to show you guys normal stuff, what you'd expect from your day-to-day -day usage. That's the whole point of these showcases. One thing I really love about the striker with Cassie is that you can do that. You can cancel your heavy attack with your striker and that allows you to, you know, go back in and start doing some combos. But now that we've got 10 Fury passes, he he's pretty much done. So it's a shame that we had two or three straight poison immune champions, but next up we have Call Obsidian. This fight is kind of ridiculous. This dude gets to his special two and just does not want to throw it. It's it's actually irritating how annoying it is. He, um, yeah, you, you guys are gonna see. We get a little combo here, not a big deal, but once we push him to a special two, I think we dance with him for like 20 something seconds. And um, yeah, it's, it's not very fun. <laughs> uh, you guys will see in a second. Uh, yeah, now he's at a special two, and now we're just trying to get this dude to throw it. And I was debating on just dumping power with my special one to get that taunt active, but yeah, now we just get that special two out of him. I kind of screwed up on the spacing there. I thought he'd get closer than he did, which, you know, it is what it is. I just baited a dash attack out of him. Right here, we heavy charge, and then we get the punish there. We've got 14 power stings, which isn't an insane amount, but once we start getting these fury passives will really start ramping up. So, we go in here for the light attack to get that taunt to refresh, or not refresh, uh, slow the, slow the uh, expiry of these debuffs. I'm having trouble talking about uh, Cassie today. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, de the poison debuff extends the duration of the existing debuffs while it's active, is what I was trying to say. And now we are just trying to uh, you know keep nuking. My whole goal here was to try to build my special 2 while I had all these Fury passives, but they just, they take a lot of damage while, uh, you know, <laughs> taking Power Sting damage. So, 
it's you know it's not like that's going to be super easy to do right there we get hit by the special one i don't know how that happened um i really enjoy her animations though she's a lot of fun to use and i think the last fight here is guillotine i think we do get a good guillotine fight here she's not the hardest defender but you just don't want to push her to her special one and have her use that because i think the special one debuff that she places will reflect the direct damage that we deal but right there we get 14 power stings and then we get the taunt here and then she drops the special two we have the uh the petrify active so we are going to be you know reducing some of that power she's gaining we get a heavy charge in there cancel with our special one now that we have uh the taunt active i'm i think i'm going to try to race to the special two I'm trying to get, you know, Pim Particles, but I think we just go for the Striker here, and then we're pretty much right there. We can just close out the fight here with these guaranteed crits. They're so much fun to use when you can line it up perfectly. So yeah, that was a lot of fun to do. Next up, we have some more Power Sting stuff. The opponent takes 90% less power or damage unless it's from Power Sting here. Yeah, that's gonna sting, backfire, Power Alternator, and Power Snack. So. Cassie ignores Power Snack. Um, the Backfire, I think, is what the note is called, where you parry um, and you place a Power Sting. That's kind of irrelevant for her because she's got Power Stings of her own. But once you start, you know, ramping her up here, she's gonna just melt the opponent. So that wasn't an insane amount of damage that we did there, but you guys will see once we start getting these Power Stings going, it's uh, it gets juicy. So. We go in here with a heavy attack, and we run out of fuel, make some mistakes, it be what it be. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just keep baiting specials now, he's melting. He gains enough power on his own that we could just keep letting him use those special attacks, but we close the fight with a striker. Cassie's dad comes in and knocks him over. We start the fight with uh, some hits into the block to try to get him cornered. What I want to do here against Cable is block, or not block, his special one. Uh, heavy charge, his special one, so we can gain a bunch of uh, power stings on the opponent. But uh, I think we do that on the next one, after we taunt him. So once we taunt him, we're at like 20 or 200 something fuel. Um, so we're pretty much ready for an, like a heavy charge right there. And it worked perfectly. Fuel was low, but we didn't run out. We're at 31 power stings. And we just back off here, and he ticks down for 170,000 burst damage from that power sting. So, really good stuff. Next up, we have another Hyperion. He's a common defender in this video. I think we saw two of him, I think, and then two Dragon Mans. So, the again, the thing with the you know Poison Mune Champions is that you just gotta play aggressive and loop that special one as much as you can. You want them throwing as much specials as possible. That way, they just keep refreshing those power stings. And with Hyperion, he gets so much power that he's going to have a lot of specials to throw. Right there, we go in for our heavy. And we didn't get to our special one, so we couldn't cancel with our special one. Right there, I don't know what I did there. But, um, yeah. Uh, now we are larger than Hyperion. <laughs> She's got some really wonky animation issues. But, yeah. Next up, we've got Vision on this node. Or same node set. I think this is the fourth defender we've taken on this node because I just had a lot of fun playing this node and I wanted to keep, you know, going. He's another poison immune, so I wanted to show that she's decent against these poison immunes. Even though there's a bunch of, you know, nodes amplifying our damage here, I just thought it'd be a good idea to show it all against you guys, or for you guys. Right there, screwed it up again. That evade. <laughs> now I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. I think I'm just going to drop that special too after I get um, some power stings on him. That way we deal full damage because I think they take 90% less damage without the power sting active. Um, but yeah, now we are able to get a heavy charge in here, drop the special one. He's at 16 power stings, we have the taunt. And yeah, now we are cooking with gas. <laughs> um, we just need him to drop one more special attack, but a combo will finish it out. So yeah, fun stuff here. I think next up we have a Hazard Shift lane. Yeah, I wanted to show her off against Hazard Shift to show that her uh, attack reduction is really solid. Uh, this is Hazard Shift. Um, 
I think sh uh, poison and incinerate. And then there's also nodes where if the opponent tries to inflict you with effect you're immune to, you'll gain fury passives that increase your attack rating by an insane amount. I took Overseer here on this lane, and it was a lot of fun. Right there, I did not realize her special 2 would push her that far back. I, I thought we'd be able to just, you know, <laughs> close her out there, and you know, but we got lucky because she didn't do anything, but... Now we're pretty much just healing from all these debuffs because we've got that taunt active. We just want to make sure we keep it paused with our pin particles. But yeah, this this uh, you know Black Widow is uh, pretty much done. So yeah, she works for Hazard Shift. Uh, that was Story Quest, so the attack rating was really solid. And obviously we're getting enhanced by the nodes, but like the the um, attack reduction is all her. That's not being enhanced by the nodes. So. Really cool stuff there. You just want to start the fight by not attacking them while they have the incinerate phase active. Once they've got the poison phase active, you can start going to town. Right there, I'm not a big fan of you know charging the heavy in the corner, but you know sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. The awesome thing about Cassie on Hazard Shift Poison and Incinerate is that when you strike them during the poison phase, you gain pim particles, I believe, which you know is really good for her because it's uh, it allows her to extend the duration of her debuffs with that poison that she can place using the pin particles so I don't know why I didn't use a medium attack there that's one thing I hate that the opponents do <laughs> do a combo and then a special attack um, you know it is what it is right there we we're able to fully miss that whole special one stay close and now we're just dealing a bunch of damage so yeah now we just keep going extend the duration of our debuffs with that poison gain more pim particles right there i think i need to start releasing the heavy charge more um, or the heavy attack more or earlier is what i'm trying to say uh, release it earlier that allows us to um, you know co counter their attack better but finish the fight out here with some guaranteed crits i believe yeah so cool stuff really solid damage there and I think we've got this last fight here um, against the Tigra. So she should be just a little bit faster than that War Machine. And yeah, we're just gonna, you know, slow play the beginning because we don't want to take incinerate damage. But once we get going, we should be pretty much good. So now, fully evade that heavy attack, and now we just start attacking. We're going for an intercept. And now, once she drops that special one. Uh, or special two if we push her to it. No, she doesn't get to it. Um, right there, I thought I'd be able to heavy charge. That's what I wanted to do, but it's not a big deal. And um, yeah, we wasted all our fuel there. Not a big deal. Not playing the greatest. And like I said earlier, I'm not going to show you guys perfect gameplay all the time. I'm just showing you guys what I got. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to show you guys like the average gameplay that you guys can get with champions because like not everyone plays perfect all the time and if you do um your name's probably msd so yeah that's just my little showcase on cassie well not little it's like 22 minutes long but if you guys enjoyed hit like sub if you're new if you already subbed you know i love you and see you guys for the next video or stream peace out